Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to create velocity driven deformation in Houdini using wax and some mathematical concept. Okay, so as you see over here we have some deformation where we have some mo motion in our geometry. Okay, so my original animation is this and what I get through this particular process like this. Okay, so where we have more motion we get more stretchiness and something like that okay so let's do this thing so for that reason i'm going to use one new fresh hoodney scene so over here i have one animated character which i downloaded from mixamo.com and i already cached out that particular stuff now to apply this particular stuff that deformation based on velocity first of all we need to calculate velocity and for that reason I am going to use one point velocity operator ok so basically we get some velocity if you want to check on my viewport you just click over here on display point trail and we will get something like this ok so now we have velocity information on my point ok now to identify so basically concept is that we need to identify the faces or you can say that points right now for this example that towards the direction of velocity okay so for that reason I need normal information onto my point and for that thing I am going to use one normal operator and definitely I, I want that particular stuff onto point I just click over here on point okay now we have that velocity information we have normal information now the concept is that we need to identify those faces or those points which is towards velocity direction and for that reason I am going to use wax and in that wax I am going to use one mathematical concept that is dot product okay so before we move into wax I am going to explain that how dot product help me to identify that particular thing and for that reason I am going to use one presentation okay so dot product so first of all we understand that what is dot product so the basic concept of dot product is that a dot b is equal to magnitude of a into magnitude of b multiply with cos theta where theta is angle between a and b so this is in general concept of dot product okay but there are so many uh, product property dot product property of vector okay and in which I am going to use or our example we are going to use this particular concept okay so for example we have a is equal to a1 a2 and a3 while b vector has value b1 b2 and b3 then a dot b is equal to a1 into b1 plus a2 into b2 plus a3 into b3 okay so now what happened that wherever that dot product is positive that means the vectors are points in the same direction or parallel okay that suggests that faces is orient towards the velocity okay while if the dot product is negative definitely the points in opposite direction and are anti parallel that means the faces is orient away from the velocity okay so likewise we have one example like if I have velocity information 4.8 minus 3.6 and 2 point minus 2.9 while normal information is maybe 0 0.04 minus 0.76 and 0.64 so the dot product of that is 1.07 that means that is positive it means this both vectors are pointing in the same direction while if you check this information like over here we have velocity is 1.14 minus 3.7 1.84 while normal is minus 0 0.140 and minus 1 so the dot product is minus 1.94 that means that is negative so it indicate that velocity and normals are point in opposite direction okay so I am going to use this particular concept so over here to write down expression I am going to use attribute wrangle now I am going to you create some variable like float d okay that basically store my dot product so dot of at n attribute n that is normal and attribute velocity 
okay so it's stored the dot product of that particular stuff now next is i'm going to create one more variable that is 3 t that is for trigger now i'm going to use one straight information i need that straight should be my control so i just apply that particular stuff to stretch how many stretch i want on that velocity direction so stretch rate and that should be multiplied with 0 0.1 as it is very tiny information so i just uh, want to use that bigger value for that so i just multiply with 0.1 as well as i am going to use one cutoff that is c is equal to 0 so normally we prefer 0 for that particular stuff or maybe either you want to use that or not that is up to you okay now what am i going to do is that over here i am going to store that t is equal to if d is greater than c then i am going to use that uh, short form of that if else condition then it should be uh, it should be stored one value over here else the symbol for else is this zero okay so wherever we have d is greater than c then it stored the value one in t otherwise it stored zero in t okay now to identify that particular stuff i am going to use at cd is equal to set t comma zero comma zero okay and see i will get something like this over here okay so now what am i going to do i am going to use that at position is equal to at position plus velocity multiply with the trigger so wherever we have one value it just applies stretch over there as well as i just need that stretch information and i need to click over here to get that information like stretch information and now if i apply this particular stuff now see we get some stretchiness over there okay so i just bypass this color expression and now i just apply little bit subdivide to give a little more detail onto that particular thing as well it is always preferable that whenever you apply some deformation just recalculate your normal okay so now we get something like this okay so that's how you get this velocity driven deformation in Houdini okay so hope you like this tutorial as well as the concept of dot product and use of that dot product see you soon with another tutorial thank you